All right, Siri, so what's new with you? Oh, you know me, I'm just working my youth away. <laughs> I'm actually just trying to enjoy, you know, what's left of summer. Um, I'm kind of glad that the weather is starting to cool down a little bit, but you know me, being from Florida, I absolutely hate the cold, so I'm also dreading it. I too am trying to enjoy what's left of summer, but I also don't mind cooler temperatures. Um, I hope that we're being modest with our time. Oh yeah, you know. Me, modest, all the way. You know what? I don't think that that's funny one bit. I can see the hickey on your neck and I just have to say I am extremely disappointed in you. I put the piercings aside, I put the tattoos aside, and I put the god awful hair color aside, Siri. I gave you a chance and you have just done nothing but prove me right about the way that I felt about you from the get. A what? Oh no, it sure looks like a hickey, but it, it's not a hickey. I know a hickey when I see a hickey, young lady. I've been on this planet far longer than you. And the big man up above, he's looking down on you in more ways than one. And premarital activities is a one-way ticket to <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. That probably explains why you're dreading summer ending. You probably like the fiery feeling. You're one of his disciples. Okay, this escalated very quickly. Okay, Margaret, so I am married, so I'm covered in that area. And again, this is not a hickey. then whatever could it be just so conveniently on your neck. So I curl my hair using a wand and I burnt myself on the neck this morning when I was curling my hair. And I don't like the cold because I'm from Florida. Come here, let me feel it then. Okay, this has gone way too far. You're not my mom, you're not my boss. I've done nothing wrong. I've indulged this behavior for too long. Um, I'm a grown up. What? Just as I suspected, you are a harlot and you are a liar. I look around here and I see all of these other women with hair color and tattoos and holes in their body that weren't there when they were born. And I would just say to schedule me with someone else, but the more I look around, the less I want to. I will just find a whole new salon altogether because my soul feels unclean being in here. I would like to leave, please. Don't pick up the shears, don't pick up the color. Just let me leave. Margaret, you are free to go. I am so sorry that you feel that way. And do not try to gaslight me of my beliefs. I'm allowed to leave. You need to do some serious soul searching. How do they always find my salon?